Hello my dear friend, welcome, I'm David Cortez and this is my website www.david-cortez.com So in this video we will study together the history of uh, internet, history of the internet. So let's start. Early concepts and uh, predecessors 1960s. The origin of the internet can be traced back to the early 1960s with the development of packet switching networks. Two key figures in this phase were Paul Baran and uh, the Rand Corporation, who developed the concept of distributed networks for military communications, and Donald Davis at the National Physical Laboratory NPL in the UK, who coined the term packet switching, packet switching. ARPANET and Early Networks 1969-1980s. The first practical implementation of a packet switching network was the ARPANET, Advanced Research Projects Agency Network, founded by the USA Department of Defense. 1969, ARPANET's first message was sent between UCLA and Stanford Research Institute. 1971, the first email program was created by Ray Tomlinson. 1973, ARPANET went international with the connections to the University College of London, England, and the Royal Radar Establishment, Norway. Late 1970s, other networks such as Secrets, France, NPL UK and Telnet, the first commercial packet switching network in the USA, were developed. TCP IP and Network Integration, 1980s. The development of the Transmission Control Protocol Internet Protocol TCP IP by Vint Cerf and Bob Kahn was crucial for the Internet's growth. 1983, ARPANET switched to the TCP IP marking the birth of the modern Internet. This allowed different networks to interconnect. 1984, the domain name system DNS was introduced, providing a hierarchical and more human-friendly way of addressing network locations with domain names. Expansion and commercialization 1990s. The 1990s saw explosive growth and commercialization of the internet. 1990s, Tim Berners Lee et al. developed the World Wide Web WWW, introducing HTML, HTTP, and the first web browser. 1993, Mosaic, the first widely used graphical web browser, was released, making the web more accessible. 1995, the National Science Foundation, NSF, lifted restrictions on commercial use of the Internet. Major online services such as Amazon and eBay were founded. 1996, the Internet started gaining mainstream adoption with increased personal and business usage. Dot-com boom and bust, late 1990s, early 2000s. The late 1990s saw the rise of numerous Internet-based companies leading to the dot-com boom. 
1998, Google was founded, eventually becoming the dominant search engine. 2000, the dot-com bubble burst, leading to the failure of many internet-based companies. Web 2.0 and social media. 2000s. The early 2000s saw the rise of Web 2.0 characterized by user-generated content, usability and interoperability. 2001, Wikipedia was launched. 2004, Facebook was founded, leading to the social media revolution. 2005, YouTube was launched, revolutionizing video sharing. Mobile Internet and beyond. 2010s present. The 2010s marked a shift towards mobile internet and the integration of various technologies. 2007, the iPhone was introduced, popularizing smartphones and mobile internet usage. 2010, Instagram was launched, adding to the social media ecosystem. 2015 present the Internet of Things, IoT, Artificial Intelligence, AI and 5G networks started shaping the next generation of Internet technologies. Conclusion, the Internet has evolved from a military research project to a global network that is integral to the modern life. Uh, its history is marked by groundbreaking technological, technological developments and periods of rapid growth, with each phase contributing to the complex and dynamic entity it is uh, today. So I want to remember that uh, on my website you can find a lot of material for your studies, for your career. So there is the software engineering section, the section regarding the web development, math, physics, physics, chemistry, and you can play also a various numbers of games like uh, chess. For example, you can play chess for free on my website and you can play different games uh, like, for example, uh, Snake. Do you remember Snake? And uh, if you want, you can study the code because it's uh, full uh, written in JavaScript. So you can study also the JavaScript code. So you can learn by, by playing, basically. It's uh, probably one day I will do the, the, the tutorial of the snack game. So thank you for watching and I want to remember that if you like my, my project, if you like my website, you can uh, make a donation. So you can find this link. Uh, the Art Prime, your donation is important. Uh, help me update this website and join this uh, community. So, thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.